Dupuytren's contracture is a benign process that affects the palm of the hand. It's due to an overgrowth of fibrous tissue in a layer called the palmar fascia. It most commonly involves the ring and then less so the long and small fingers. And as this fibrous tissue grows, it causes the fingers to bend down in a curled position like this. There are many different treatment options for Dupuytren's disease. It really depends on the severity of the disease and the degree of contracture of the fingers. One thing we look at is something that we call a tabletop test. If a patient is able to lay their hand completely flat on a table, then that's something that we would observe and just monitor over time. If the disease progresses and we are required to do an intervention, there are typically two interventions that I will recommend. The first one is called Zyaflex, which is an enzyme that can be injected into the Dupuytren's disease in the office. The patient will typically come back 24 to 48 hours later, and during this time that enzyme is breaking down the cord or the Dupuytren's disease. When the patient returns to clinic, the finger is manipulated to bring the finger out straight. If the disease is too extensive and is not amenable to Zyaflex injection, then typically I'll recommend excision in the operating room. This is an outpatient procedure where the patient will come and go the same day. After surgery, the patient will be splinted with their fingers straight. They will typically follow up a couple days after surgery, at which time they'll see our therapist to begin therapy and splinting exercises.